हेलो वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल माई लवली बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स आई होप यू ऑल कैन हियर मी एंड सी मी वेरी वेल येस इफ यू गाइज कैन हियर मी एंड सी मी वेरी वेल प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द चार्ट पीपल आई वॉन्ट दैट इमीडिएटली आई वॉन्ट एवरीबडी टू लेट मी नो इन द चार्ट इफ यू कैन हियर मी एंड सी मी वेल येस सो I guess now you guys can see me as well. So this is a very important session. I'm going to be talking about how to register for your JE mains 2022, and I'm going to cover all the aspects. I'm not going to leave out any detail. If you are excited, can you give me some thumbs up? Can you give me some yo in the chat? Welcome, welcome. We have Sneha, we have Netra, Lemuel, friendly little boy. Welcome, people. so i had got amazing questions from students regarding various aspects of your application so i am going to cover them one by one so it might be a long session but it's totally worth your time i am going to showcase everything each and every detail will be covered so that you guys will not have any doubt because beware beware they said they said that if you make any mistake then you will have no chance to correct it they said if you make any mistake you will have no chance to correct it did you guys know that are you all happy with it so before we get in can you guys give me a fire how many of you are looking forward to it can you all please give me a fire in the chat and then we will go ahead yes yes everybody cool great lemuel that's awesome because tamil i have to register in the website na in uh, computer it's very easy for me to show that's why i am taking this session like this okay so let's get started people without any delay so for those who are new to the channel guys my name as all of you are aware is nothing but shimon joseph and i am a mathematics teacher at vedantu i teach for the 11th and 12th standard and i was also like you guys i registered for many exams like kvpy j mains j advance i cleared all of them and now i help students to do well in these exams okay and people you are currently watching v enthuse which is the english j channel the official english channel of vedantu so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and if you like the video share it to your friends and comment down if you have any doubts so shall we get started everybody so today's video is all about the registration for j mains you guys have many questions like caste certificate obc sc st pwd ews what does that mean how do we understand it sir can you please explain yes i will answer all your questions but i want you guys to stay till the end because guys each and every detail i'm going to cover that's why i am coming in computer why do i think i came in my computer i could have taken it in the screen right because i wanted to help you with your application as well okay so let's get into it so people the dates of exams are announced the first session is on april 16th and second session is on may 24th so you guys have to fill your application now i'm sure some of you have already filled and some of you have doubts so you are waiting for me isn't it so that is why i have come here and many people are requesting to make these videos i hope it reaches them i hope all your all your friends will also get to know about this please do share it to them okay so now people these are the details which i want to talk about so please listen carefully so online submission will be open from march 1st up to 31st march march 1st to 31st march you will have the online application process okay last day for application fees is 31st march you have to pay the application fees how much i will tell you don't worry okay and by first week of april you will know what is your exam city where you will write the exam whether you will write it in chennai mumbai delhi bombay or whatever like kolkata wherever you are writing from wherever you applied for whether you got it or not you will know by first week of april second week of april you will get the admit card admit card means you have to take it to the exam center like hall ticket so just like hall ticket you will get 
admit card on the day of second week of April. Okay, so that's about it guys. Now let's move forward and have a look at the questions. This is the second attempt. Second attempt, we have time. You have to apply for second attempt separately, not together. Last year, you could apply together. Last year, we had four attempts. You could apply for all the four attempts together. But now, you have to apply for April attempt separately, May attempt separately. I hope that is clear. So, May attempt, the application will begin 8th April, 8th April and it will go up to 3rd May. So you have a lot of time for second attempt. So let's not worry about that for now. For now, let me focus on the current registration. So this is the current registration website and I will show it to you in a moment. So this is what you guys might have seen. Isn't that right? So this is what you guys might have seen. I'll come to this shortly and I will tell you everything, everything in detail. Don't worry. Okay. So I will create a dummy application with some random name and I will show you how it works so that you guys are also confident. You're also excited to fill your application. Okay. Now, uh, basic details, application fees for male general category is 650 rupees for female. It will be 325 general category means if you are a forward cast person or if you are OBC, but you do not belong to the NCL. You do not belong to non creamy layer. So if you are OBC non creamy layer or if you belong to forward caste or if you belong to general with economically weaker side, then you can apply for 650 rupees male boys and 325 for girls outside India. The prices are mentioned here. Are you all clear? So like that SC, ST and PWD. 325 for both men and women that is boys and girls and third gender you will have 325 rupees to pay in India abroad it is 1500. So I am focusing on the first paper alone. So I will talk only about first paper because that is what we are focusing on in this channel. Okay, so let's get going people. There are a few points to be noted. Please no corrections will be entertained once the form is submitted. Somebody was telling, sir, they will allow us to correct. No, no, you will not because you don't have time. If they are allowed to correct, everybody will correct only. If we keep correcting, when will the exam happen? So you have to fill the form correctly. That is why I'm going to explain it step by step. So use this video properly. Got it. So now let's move forward to the next one. Some somebody was asking, sir, what about photo, sir? What about signature, sir? How do we get it? They are telling so many conditions, sir. So the scanned photograph should look like this. I brought my own photograph. So I will show you guys. Listen carefully. So this is my photograph. Can you see that? So you should take it with the white background. You see that the background is white and you should show your ears. Your ears, you should show your face and your body should cover 80% of the photo. Your face and your body should cover 80%. Can you see here? I almost cover 80% of the entire photo. So this is how you should take your photo. If you don't have it, go and get it. Don't use 10 years back photo. Sometimes you will get rejected. So take a photo, go to a studio, get it done. It is half an hour job. Half an hour you can go and get it done. Okay. So this is photo. Next thing is that is what they have given. So that is what they have said here. You see recent photograph should be in color or black and white also with 80% face including ears. Okay. And the size should be between 10 KB and 200 KB. So that is very important. So the size is also very important. So you can reduce your image size. So if your file size is more, you can say image size reduction. You can type this online and you can reduce it. So online re uh, reduce size, you can click on this and you can upload your photo. So I can drop my image here and then I can easily get it done. Are you guys clear? Everybody? Did you guys get it? So you select your image, drop it here and you can resize it. You can resize it. Are you all happy with that? So like that you can reduce your size to what they have asked. I hope it makes sense guys. I'm covering every point so that you don't leave any mistakes. Second thing signature should be signed. So take a A4 sheet and use your signature like this. 
so take an a4 sheet and sign on top of it very clearly so this is my rough signature i showed it to you so that you guys get an idea so you take an a4 sheet you put your signature clearly with a black pen and nicely take a photo of it and then you have to again reduce your size because when you take on phone no the size will be large so when you upload it in the application i will show you where that time it will create problem that time it will create problem because they want 4kb to 30kb okay guys it's a live video come on guys i'm not answering your chat because i have so many important things to discuss okay it is a live video guys i can see all your chat vikas and then selva sneha blue background not allowed white background guys come on read it carefully be very clear okay and the category certificate now this is a very common question everybody is asking category 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 only so i will tell you in state let's say in tamil nadu you are sc or st that is good that is the certificate you have to upload because for sc st and pwd whatever certificate you have in your state that is enough that is enough so whatever tamil certificate you have no for tamil nadu you have tamil certificate sc st so you use the same you use the same got it are you all clear everybody clear with this i hope you guys are all able to understand that and if you are obc that is where you have problem so state bc is not central obc if you are a state bc candidate sir in my state i am bc sir mbc i am bc but in national level you need not be in national level you need not be because in national level you might be in general category how do i know sir if your mother and father income put together in one year mother and father put together full income is below 8 lakhs only then you can apply for obc okay sir i don't have obc sir but my parents they earn less than 8 lakhs so can i just tell i am obc now i will get the certificate later yes you can do that yes you can do that but you cannot cheat if you say obc and later if they find out you are not obc it will be a problem to your life because that is a illegal activity got it but if your parents are earning less than 8 lakhs but sir i don't have proof now right now i will just declare i am obc i am not lying i will fill it and later when they ask i will provide the certificate yes you can do that i will show you how yes you can do that okay for counseling yes obc certificate is needed but for application just declaration is enough that is there in the information bulletin okay i hope you guys are all clear with this and these are the medium of instructions i told you this already so english and hindi in all centers assamese only in assam bengal in west bengal tripura andaman and nicobar like that regional languages you have in those regions only okay so these are the documents which you need photograph signature in black pen caste certificate if you are sc st or obc non creamy layer and pwd certificate if you are a person with disability disability can be anything okay it can be your eyesight also uh, many people if you are not aware of it even if your eyesight is very bad it is uh, considered to be a disability or it is considered to be under pwd if you have a certificate if you have a big problem okay so like that there are many avenues if you have any issue you can definitely go and check it out because these uh, these will be advantages to you okay in the exam when you apply for colleges okay so if you have any such eligibility criteria please use it that's what i would recommend okay so now why reservation is very important just now i told you na so reservation is important because see if you are in general category you have only 10% seats economically weaker section but if you are obc category 27% seats are reserved for you sc st 15% and 7.5% pwd 5% so so many seats in nits triple its iits are reserved for you if you are belonging to these categories so it is advantages to use this 
got it so if you have any one of this please utilize it that is what i would recommend okay so now is it mandatory to fill parents income yes people if you are working parents are earning then please fill their total income if it is below 8 lakhs you are at an advantage because you will get obc non creamy layer but if you are sc st it has no addition anyway you will get the certificate not a problem okay so those who are writing j mains 2022 should they should have been writing their board exam in 2020 2021 2022 there is no age limit but you should have written your 12th board exam in 2020 2021 or this year so your board exam you should have written in the last three years but your age can be anything if your age can be anything and if your board exam is uh, last three years then you can write je mains this year got it now students queries i gave you a form right i'm gonna answer all your doubts come on guys let's do this let's do this fada fad is it necessary to carry the photo which we attach in the application form yes how should the photo look like the photo should look like this somewhat like this i'm showing you proof so white background 80 percent it should cover your face and your body okay this is how the photo should be like this is the photo you should carry so your photo should be very recent okay so this is a question some student asked and this is my reply you have to carry the same photo second question should we fill two application form or only one application form for both april and may no you should fill separate april separate application may separate application for may attempt they will open the application in the starting of april okay then should we use blue pen for signature no no use black pen so this is an example of my signature i have used black pen over here so are you all clear with it so you have to use black pen my dear children that's very important clear so that's about it now how to reduce the size of image you can drop your image here because image size should be between 4 kb and 30 kb they have given a condition 4 to 30 and 10 to 200 for photograph so you can just type reduce images.com drop your image here and you can reduce the size very easy now let's fill the application form so je mains 2022 let's get into it guys so je mains 2022 what are the important what are the important uh, links faq is very important because SA, faq you see plenty of good questions how many sessions authentication correction facility see correction facility no correction facility if you make a mistake you are gone if you make a mistake that is that is it it's over okay choice of city mostly whatever city you choose you will get for example i am from chennai i want to write in chennai mostly i will get chennai only but uh, if there is no place they will give nearby city like pondicherry coimbatore salem e road like that they'll give okay so income details you have to show proof it's very important don't do any sort of wrong practice here guys it might be backfiring okay then uh, sunday's application you can download from play store to get updates regarding your j mains okay so now online application form i will show you i'm gonna fill it fully full i'm gonna fill it and other number not necessary if you feel comfortable you can share otherwise no need okay and then negative marking is there for both the sections got it so everything they have given now next common question is sir what if j mains clashes with board exam sir what if j mains clashes with board exam what to do sir in that case if j mains clashes with board exams they have given a very good 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 answer the dates of j mains if it clashes with any other national or state exam nta will check the issue and rectify it as per availability so they will take care of it i don't know what they will do but they have told clearly so that is why i told you now check the faq questions so faq is a very important file you can go through it in detail what is the next important file information bulletin very important file it has everything you see very big file 
So in this file, you will have everything in detail, everything. How much fees, what is the criteria, what is the OBC certificate. So you see, this is very important, 48 to 49. Let's go to this OBC NCL certificate. So now I will show this to you because this is very important. 48, 49, come on guys, quickly. So now, sir, I don't have OBC certificate, sir, but I promise, mummy promise, I am OBC only, sir. In national level, my parents' salary in one year is less than 8 lakhs, sir. My mom and dad put together in my whole family, my family income is less than 8 lakhs. Then, if you don't have right now certificate, you can use this. You can declare that I am an OBC person and you can get it signed by the district magistrate for now. If you can get this, then you can upload this. So this is the OBC certificate format. This is for BC state people. That is not valid for national level. If you are BC in state, you cannot use that. You have to get this done. For this, your parents income should be less than 8 lakhs. Okay. I hope you guys have got it. No reservation for army or police. No reservation for NCC. No reservation for scouts and guides. Nothing. Only for OBC non-creamy layer, economically weaker section, SC, ST, PWD. That's it. Okay. Now, let's get started. Let's fill the application, my dear boys and girls. JE Mains 2022. Let me show my face. I haven't seen you guys. Okay. Why did I change this? Okay. Where did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Okay, here, everybody, clear. So J mains, let's come here and we will use it. We will use it over here. Can you guys see me here? Now, can you guys see me, everybody? I hope all of you can see me now. So I'm gonna start the registration process. I hope you guys are all ready and active. So shall we get started? Yes, 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 people, I'll answer all your queries. I'm just focusing so that we can complete it on time. So now let's click on the registration, go to the registration link. Okay. So now you start with new registration. Okay. And you have to read all the details. You read all the details. This is what they said. Now scanned photo. You have to have it ready. Sign. So photo and sign. You have to keep it ready. Photo like this. Sign like this. Both you have to keep it ready. So once they both are ready, what you can do is you can go click here to proceed by agreeing to this. So agreeing to this, click here to proceed. Okay, so candidate's name, we can write what? Wazim but. Okay, father's name, you can say something else. Shimon. So this father's name should be exactly what you write in your, in your certificates, in your examination degree. So your class 12th examination you have, right? Got it? So in your class 12th examination you have, right? Exactly your father's name you have to write. Exactly your father's name. Okay, mother's name you can write what we can say. Uh, okay, so something like that. And then you choose your date of birth. 3rd February or March and 2003, right? So I think 2003 or 4. So I think 2004 people are writing this year. The gender you choose male, identity, what do you have? Do you have your passport? You choose passport. Then you have to write your passport number. If you have PAN card, you can choose your PAN card. If you have ration card, then you can choose ration card. If you have voter ID, you can choose voter ID. Aadhaar card, you can use this. Any other government ID, you can use Aadhaar card. Aadhaar card number also, you can write it. Okay, it's up to you. So you can just fill in the number. Okay, so that is your government ID number. Now, uh, this is your address. Your address is what I can write my flat address. So you can say uh, number R25. Uh, you can say Z block. Z block 4th street. And then you can say sub locality. And then you can say your locality. You can say locality Ananagar. And then you can say uh, India is my country. My state is Tamil Nadu. And then you can say district is Chennai. Okay, you can choose your district. Then you can say pin code 600040, something like that. Okay, and then email address you can write 
all communication will be sent here so use the correct email address whatever you will use like uh, your mother or father who is actively watching you you can use their email address so i can write shimonj.math at gmail.com so that's my email id i'll use that can you zoom it okay okay i have zoomed it now so guys this is what i have done and then you can use again uh, confirm email address you can't copy and paste it you can't copy and paste it you have to type it again okay you have to type it again then mobile number i'll type my mobile number 9080124518 so that's my mobile number and you can again confirm it 9080124518 okay so 9080124518 yeah so now alternative contact number you can give your parents number or your mother's number your siblings number your father's number whichever you are comfortable with okay then click present address if your permanent address permanent address means your own house if you have a own house you can click same thing or if you are living in a rented house you can put your permanent address as where you will be staying for long time for the next 2 3 years okay because your results everything should be communicated right so just to be safe you can click on the address where you will stay for next 1 or 2 years then you can choose a password you can choose a password however you like so you have to have one long character so i i generally recommend like this for example uh you have let, let's say i'll type it here so i'll i'll type it here so you can you can type your password like this for example let's say your name is arun so you can write you can say arun kumar at uh, or underscore uh, birthday 25 december so this is a good this is a decent password it has all all the things met so this is a decent password you get it right i hope you guys are able to understand that let me remove all the unnecessary stuff okay so this is a good password for example you have arun kumar a capital and then uh, you have underscore or you can put at or you can put and it's up to you so it's up to you so this takes care of all the uh, all the conditions given there okay so now again i'll come back to the application form the application form is over here where is it ah here so i will just same use the same password uh, arun uh, kumar at uh, 2512 so again i'll confirm it arun kumar at 2512 okay so then which is the name of your neighbor's pet my neighbor's pet is a dog okay so you can put dog so like that that is a security question in case you forget your password you can you can get it back if you answer the security question correctly in case you forget your password you can get it back if you answer your questions security question correctly and then you put c4 uh that is uh, i right i i042 so and then you click submit you will get submitted so password should be 8 to 14 characters so i'll use something else i'll use my password yeah now it will get accepted given i email id already exist oh i used it already so let me use some other id okay i'll use uh, shimonj01 that's my email id you can use that if you want but you will not get accepted because i already used it so shimonj01 i'll use it now i will apply the password okay i'll apply the password and then my neighbor's pet is a dog so submit it now it will get us so after you submit it you will get this so after you submit it you will get like this please review the information because once you submit tata bye bye no more corrections okay so you check uh, father's name wasim but uh, candidate's name wasim but uh, father's name shimon joseph uh, mother's name nana nana and then you have birthday correct okay all is correct sir yes student name is correct father name is correct mother name is correct and then candidate name is correct mail yes candidate is mail only identity government id and i have given my aadhar number okay guys that is not my aadhar number please don't misuse it it's random number okay don't get fooled and this is not my address so please don't try anything this is just random address okay so i gave my address correctly phone number correctly everything is correct uh, and uh, so now my name is correct father's name is correct mother's name is correct i have checked it it is exactly like my class 12 cbse results class 12 whatever i gave for my school correctly i have given 
so you should check that if everything is right guys it should match with your class 12th form or admit card whatever you have for your board exam so everything is right then click on i agree because i have mentioned everything truthfully i did not lie of course i am lying for this session but that is for your benefit only so submit and get otp so otp uh, i have to get it from my phone so let me get the otp so uh, otp i got it so it's going to be 417 Six one five. Okay, so submit registration form done. Katham, I got it. So now after this, this is preliminary, guys, guys, guys. This is not everything. This is just first step. This is just first step. Now the next step is full form. So now complete application form. This is very important. Please note it down. Copy it and save it. So this is very important. So uh, that is my password and next is my application number. I will save it. Okay. application number i'll save it so what is my application number let me check it where is it guys where is it why is it not here ah okay here so this is my application number so copy it and save it here paste it here because it is very important oh okay that that is my application number got it so now again let's uh, continue to fill our form okay so complete application form now you have to complete full details personal details so personal details wasim birthday is 03 march 2004 uh, nationality indian if you are overseas citizen of india check oci oci means overseas citizen of india those who are staying abroad foreign means you have to check foreign okay so i am an indian wasim is an indian so indian is what i'll choose which state did you qualify 12 standard or where you are applying from where you are writing your board exam you are writing from kerala choose kerala i am writing from tamil nadu so i will choose tamil nadu where is tamil nadu here because i am writing my board exam from tamil nadu okay what is my category guys this is very important if you are sc st in your state choose sc st only if you are general choose general who are general forward cast in state is general and obc in state who earn more than 8 lakhs if your salary of parents is more than 8 lakhs for one year then you will come into general only please don't do something wrong you will get caught okay if your parent salary is above 8 lakhs you have to choose general sc st if your parents are sc st in state same applies for national also so you guys have no problem for sc st there's no problem same thing only whatever you have in state same thing for national okay non creamy layer means your salary of parents is lesser than 8 lakhs economically weaker section means again general category but your salary is below a certain limit you are having salary below a certain limit you will fall under economically weaker section so i will choose general because Uh, my parents salary book together it's slightly above 8 lakhs so i will come under general category if you are pwd pwd means what pwd means you are a candidate who has a disability it can be any form it can be blindness it can be uh, any issue with your hands or legs or it can be any any form if you have a certificate for it you can apply for it okay so you can select yes but i don't have so i'll choose no are you diabetic so let's say i am diabetic let's say i have a sugar problem so i need snacks during the exam so i will click yes i will click yes now itself okay so if i click now itself yes then i can safely take banana or fruits on the day of exam they won't stop me so i will choose yes because i have sugar let's say for example okay place of residence are you in city coimbatore chennai they are all cities salem is a city rural means you are slightly away from city like towns like towns so that is rural so i will choose city because i am in chennai so urban annual family income uh, more than 8 lakhs more than 8 lakhs mode of preparation guys this is i don't know why they are asking this it's very very unique i don't know why this year they are asking i don't know whether they asked last year but yeah i found it very unique they are asking you where you are taking coaching okay are you going to coaching class yes or no guys i would say you select whatever you want it's up to you i will select uh, online coaching because vedanto right 
Vedantu rocks. So I will choose online. Uh, medium of uh, schooling, uh, I learnt in English medium. Uh, so I will put English. But if you guys are learning in Hindi, choose Hindi. Or if you are learning in Tamil, you can choose Tamil. It's up to you. Now enter the security pin. 1 U V 880. Uh, 880. Done. Save. Save and next. Are you confirming to submit the section? Yes. All good. Do you have Aadhaar number? Sir, I don't want to share my Aadhaar number. I have Aadhaar number. I have Aadhaar number, but I don't want to share it. So you can click on this. I am not willing to share my Aadhaar number. You can choose not to share. I have Aadhaar details, but I won't share. So they gave you that option. Very, very decent. It was a good move. Okay. Because it is not mandatory for you to submit Aadhaar for exams and all. Okay, for your J E mains, you can submit other details like passport or PAN card or driving license, voter's ID, whatever you have. Okay, so I am going to share. I am not willing to share my other details. So then I confirm the details and uh, see system will not allow you to change name and the date. Okay, so please once you check Aadhaar, if you say I am submitting Aadhaar, once you submit, you can't change anything. Okay, so be very careful. That's why they're asking. I confirm. I confirm to all the instructions. So after this, you cannot make corrections. So I submit the details. Okay. So now what are you applying for? Sir, I am applying for only first paper, sir. I am not applying for architecture. I don't want architecture, sir. I want only engineering, engineering technology. I am an entrepreneur. I want to find engineering invention. So then you choose BE. And then what medium you want? Sir, I am from Tamil Nadu. I study in Tamil medium school. I want Tamil paper. Sir, I am from Hindi. I don't know in English. I can't understand English. So English medium or Hindi medium or Urdu. Whatever medium you can choose. I will select English because I, I, I am comfortable with English. And then what is your first choice? Okay, what is your first choice? Your first choice, uh, since I am from Tamil Nadu, I will choose Tamil Nadu and city, I would prefer Chennai because I am from Chennai. Second preference, again Tamil Nadu. Near Chennai, what do we have? Uh, we have Coimbatore, I think. I am not very good at this, but yeah, Coimbatore is what I know. So I will go with Coimbatore. Coimbatore is nearby. So second choice is Coimbatore. Third choice is Puducherry because Pondicherry is also very close by. So that is my third choice. Then fourth choice is again Karaikal. So I chose all my four options. Then I come to the next question. Okay. The next question is father's business. So father is into medical, engineering, law, government service, army. You can choose government, public sector, private, teaching, research, pharmacy. So here Vazim Bhatt is the applicant. Shimon Joseph is the father. So Shimon Joseph is teaching. So I will put teaching as father's occupation. So father's qualification is graduate because I did my graduation from IIT. Mother's occupation. Let's uh, let's say generally all of us will have mother to be homemakers. Generally, I'm not stereotyping, but yeah, guys, generally everybody will be having their mom, majority of us as homemakers. So you can choose homemaker. It is in others. Okay. And uh, the last one, the last one, mother's qualification. You can say matriculate if they finish school, if they did not go to school, illiterate, if they completed graduation, graduate, if they did postgraduate, you can choose postgraduate. So let's choose postgraduate for now because for just for fun. Okay. So then you apply the security code E, E23, E53 and then you click save and next. That's it. Done. And then next you come to the qualifying details. So qualifying details, 10th passed. 10th or equivalent. So all of you would have passed 10th. So you put, you put, uh, you put past 10th standard. Then when did you appear in 10th standard? So you would have appeared in 10th standard in 2020, right? Because you're writing 2022 exam. So I think you would have appeared in 2020. If you appear in 2019, you can put that also. Not a problem. Qualifying exam, 10th or equivalent. Place of schooling, urban. So where did you do your schooling? Is it urban city or is it rural town or village? You have to check that. Then type of school, Kendra Vidyalaya, Javar Navadya, JNVs, government school, others, government aided, private, unaided, 
CBSE school. So CBSE school I studied. So I will check CBSE school. Okay. Then you will choose qualifying exam. Uh, I qualified from Tamil Nadu because I wrote from Tamil Nadu. So I will choose Tamil Nadu. Then qualifying district. I wrote from Chennai because my school when I wrote 10 standard it was in Chennai. So Chennai I cho choose. Okay. Then which school? Uh, which board? School board was CBSE. So you can choose state board or CBSE. So do they have CBSE? Do they have CBSE? Where is CBSE guys? Can you check it? My eyesight is bad. Okay, CBSE is here. So if you are ICSE, you can choose ICSE. See here. Where is ICSE? Again, my eyesight is bad. ICSE where man? What? They left ICSE. Oh, here, here. ICSE is this. Council for the Indian School Certificate Exam. Okay. Council for the Indian School Certificate Exam. You can check that. Okay. So that is for ICAC. So I will choose ICAC because I did my 10th in ICAC. Then result mode, uh, percentage. Okay. So total marks, I got 635 out of 700. That is an ICAC. Oh, total marks is 600. Sorry, sorry. Total marks is 700. I got 635. So if you are in CBSC, total marks will be 500. You got CBSE total marks is 500. You can write how much ever you got. 475 or 480 like that. It's up to you. So now I am in ICAC. So I will write 700. I got 635. So directly I will get my person. They will itself fill it directly. So roll number you can fill it. It's your wish. And school college pin code you can put it. 600040 Ananagar. Then school address you can fill it. Uh, SDA. Uh, Vepari. Uh, Chennai, like that. Okay, you can fill it. It's up to you. Then you fill your 12th standard details. Okay, Vijaya 494. Yeah, Vijaya scored 494 out of 500, guys. Next level. <laughs> great, great. Good job, Vijaya. I hope you will do next year also same. So now 12th. 12th, you are appearing. You didn't write it still, now nah? Because the exam is still not over. Because you are applying. Okay, but if you are dropper, if you're a dropper, then you have to fill I passed. If you're a dropper, you fill passed and you choose 2021 or 2020. If you are this year student, then you choose appearing and 2022. Okay. Then uh, again, I'll choose CBSC uh, if you are from CBSC. Okay. So CBSC, ICSC like that. And then pl place of schooling, urban or rural. Urban is what I did. Then qualifying... Uh, Type of school, you can check KV means KV, JNV means JNV, others, private, government, and CBC school. So I studied in CBC, so I'll choose CBC. Got it? Then you have uh, which place you studied. I studied in Tamil Nadu, so I'll choose Tamil Nadu. Okay, then you will choose qualifying uh, district. I did it in Chennai. Then school board was uh, CBC, Central Board of Secondary Education. Then roll number result. Roll number you can fill if you have it. If you don't have it, you can just leave it. Then school school name you can fill. MVM Chetpet and then Chennai. And then you can fill the you can fill the pin code. I don't know the pin code of Chet Chetpet. I think it's I forgot. So it's 040. Okay, same. Ananagar. So now this will be what? N64849. Then you fill uh, save and next. So do you want to submit this section? I filled it everything properly. So you can go and to move to the next one. Oh, did I make any mistake? Okay, so you can click save and next. Oh, this is failed. Okay, OA4083. Uh, so save and next. Okay, OA is capital, right? Save and next. Yes. Okay, why it's not... Okay, roll number I have to fill up. Huh? I don't know why it's not going. So... Did I make any mistake? Here you are. Oh, this is required. Roll number. Okay. So roll number, you can fill whatever you want. Okay. This is not required. This, you can leave it. So now you fill it, it will be correct. So guys, you saw the mistake I did. I didn't fill the roll number. So it was not moving forward. So you can learn from my mistakes. Even I make mistakes here. Because I'm also doing it for the first time. Okay. So then you can go save and next. Now. Yes. Now it's accepted. Great. Are you a twin? I would love to, but no, unfortunately not. I don't have a twin brother. He's not here. He's no more. <laughs> so now, 
the security pin KL KL Kerala then you have 7905 then save and next are you sure you want to submit yes now document upload so document upload you can choose your documents so I'll go to my document personal files and personal docs then you have photos then you have so you have your uh, individual pics okay so you have the pics here okay not this pics this is personal pics okay passport and photo, sh photo shoots so this is this is the pic you have to fill okay so this is better this is better okay this is better guys so this is the kind of pictures you should upload i hope you guys got it so you can upload it and then you can do it get it done okay and then signature but the important part is the important part is you have to get your file size correct okay so when you have your file size problematic then what you do is you have to go to reduce image size okay you can go to reduce image size and then you can get it done okay i hope you guys got it so that's about it after that you guys can fill it i have told you everything almost everything so image i showed you and even signature i showed you right so signature i'll show you wait so signature is here so this is my signature uh, you can you can take a a4 sheet you have to sign with black pen okay you have to you have to write with black pen okay and then you can fill it that's it so upload it and then you can check it out and then you can click on final submit so final submit you have to pay you have to pay the fees got it so i can try uploading let me see if i can upload it oh you have all my documents here now everybody will start commenting sir what do you have sir where is my photos yeah photos and then you have uh where is it man passport and then yeah so you can crop your photo what I have to reduce my image size a bit. My God. See? Then upload. That's it. As simple as that. Hey, it's very easy, man. It's fun. I like it. Then signature. Choose file. Then you come back. And then you choose your sign. And then you choose zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Why is this not happening? Okay, this has a problem. Okay, so my height is very small. My, okay, this file size is wrong. So guys, for your image, you have very little space. Okay. So you have to clearly ch uh, change it. Okay, I'm not able to zoom out even further. This much only I can zoom out. So yeah, you have to write it in a smaller image guys. You have to reduce the file size even further. You have to reduce the file size even further. Okay. So I I will probably do it later. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. It is a problem. Yeah. So you have to fill it properly guys. I think my, my file size is wrong. Let me change it a little bit. Okay. Let's make it. Uh, 128, 128, yeah, 128, 128, let's make it. Now, let me zoom it. Oh, good. But can I do it now? Okay, image width cannot descend 200. So, let me check 200. Yeah, done. Oh, not bad, I got it. So, yeah, so I got it done. So, I uploaded my sign also. Superb. So, upload. Okay. Upload. Oh. Okay, you have to do it one by one, guys. I'm sorry. So let's say it is 200 and this is 128. 200 and 128 for me matched it correctly. So I did that. Okay, reset. You keep it here. This is 128 and this is uh, 200. So now it satisfies. Oh, what is the problem? Okay, let me 
Now let me increase the width a bit. 150. Yeah, now it satisfies. Done. So 200 and 150 satisfies. Okay, so then you click on upload. Oh, image is also uploaded. Awesome. So I am officially done with my application. So it took just half an hour to figure things out. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. So yeah, go and enjoy. Save and next. Finally, submit. Yes. So before you click on the final submit, you have to review everything. No correction will be permitted later. So what you should do, you should go and check it. Okay. So if you want to change anything, you use this left side link. Sir, my contact detail I have to change, sir. No, you can't change that. Uh, sir, some other detail I want to change. Uh, maybe some you can change. Okay. So you can check and change whatever detail you want to change. And then finally, you click on submit. Okay. Why am I not able to finally submit? Okay, this is your complete review. So check everything. Check your checklist. They have done it very neatly, guys. Everything is there. So is your category correct? Is your mother's name correct? Is your state correct? Is your father's name correct? Gender correct? Question paper correct? Education details correct? Name? Date of birth? Person with disability? Exam city? Everything if it is correct, then you click on I agree. And then submit it. Okay. So once you submit your application form, it's done. Okay. Now you have to do the fee payment. Okay. So fee payment, uh, you guys have to click. So you have to verify your email ID. So after you verify your email ID, you can pay the fees. So fees you can pay 650 rupees because you are a male general category candidate. Male general category is, you have to fill. Uh, certificate, guys, I chose, OB, uh, I chose general category, so I did not have to upload anything. But if you choose OBC, you have to upload your uh, certificate. So that uploading certificate, I showed you now one file. So the, this file you have to use. 50th page of information bulletin. So information bulletin is there now. Go there, down, uh, open this PDF. In that 50th page, you will have OBC non-creamy layer certificate. SC, ST, whatever you have in your house, that is enough. For SC and ST, whatever you have in your house, that is enough. Okay. But for OBC non-creamy layer alone, only OBC non-creamy layer is a problem. Because most of us in state, we are BC. But national level, we will not be BC, we will be general category. Because our parents' salary will be more than 8 lakhs. But if your parents' salary is less than 8 lakhs, and if you are state level BC, then you will be national level OBC NCL. So you can apply for that. Uh, but for now, you can fill this form, get it signed by your district magistrate or deputy commissioner. They will give a green signature. Once that is done, it is ready for upload okay so take your time i took one hour to explain so you can take one day two days three days slowly you do it first get your photo get your signature get your obc certificate slowly you start doing it you have a lot of time so by 10th or 15th if you fill it's good enough okay so guys was it a useful session did you all like it did you all love it i hope you all had fun so remember to save your application number. Your application number is very important. Don't forget this. This is very important. Okay. So guys, this is very, very important. Please don't forget to note down your application number because you have to reuse it. Okay. Everybody clear? Very good. Awesome. So that's about it guys. Over. I hope you enjoyed the session. And in case you are preparing for JE mains, like if you are serious about it, you can use our crash course. I, I told you guys many times that Vedantu's crash course is supposed to be one of the best revisions that you can have. So in case you are interested, check it out and use it to the maximum. This is targeted on uh, first attempt. It will start and end by April 15. It started this week. It will end by April 15. So you have exactly 45 days. We will cover entire maths, physics, chemistry and you will also get your doubts resolved okay so with test series so it's a complete package so in case you're interested check it out and i have a very surprise announcement coming on saturday so saturday guys i'll have a very big announcement to make so please be ready for saturday i hope to have all of your attention on saturday i'll be coming live with a amazing session please stay tuned to the channel and come live okay 
so everybody did you enjoy so guys this is a channel whatever i thought today i will share the pdf you can join our telegram group so take your phone take your phone and scan your qr code then you can join our telegram group we will share the pdf there okay i hope you all enjoyed it take care all the very best if you have any doubts let me know guys did you all like it was it useful guys we went through everything i literally filled the entire form guys i didn't pay the fees only if i pay the fees tomorrow i'll get a call why are you registering <laughs> okay great 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 so people all of you good did you guys like it awesome awesome thank you so much so that's about it all the best people like jay mains if you are preparing now if you are starting now please use the crash course the link is below in the description of the video so you can go to youtube okay so vedantu master you can check on enthuse so you see here this is the video you are watching currently this is how fast youtube okay so just come below the video you have the crash course here so click on the crash course and you can select your je course or neat course whichever you want je crash course neat crash course nda crash course and it will show 9000 but uh, once my coupon code is applied you will get uh, 8000 you will get it to be 8000 okay so guys uh, it is high time you start preparing you have filled your form now you want to use it right so utilize it okay all the best guys Thank you so much. I hope uh, I gave you some good insight. I covered everything that I wanted to. If you have any more questions, leave it down in the comments. I will help you. Okay? So, take care. All the very best. Bye-bye guys. See you in the next one.